Amen. Listen for emphasis. I'm going to read, amen, and you'll hear in verse number 6. And this is what it says. And then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, I give to thee. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And just for a few minutes this morning, amen, I'm going to tag the text. If I can help somebody as I pass along. So I want to talk about this morning, amen, if I, amen, can help somebody as I pass along. Brothers and sisters, when we look at the Word of God, amen, it is divided in three different sections. There's the Old Testament, amen, then there's the Gospels, amen, then there is the New Testament. Hallelujah. The book of Acts is the sequel, amen, of the Gospel according to St. Luke. For Acts chapter 1, verse 1 starts off by saying, The former treaties have I made, O Theophilus." Of all that Jesus began to say and teach until the day which he was taken up. After that, he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. By the time you and I make our way to chapter number 2, understand it is now 53 days. Hallelujah. It's 53 days, amen, since Jesus Christ has been crucified. And the Bible says, amen, it was when the day of Pentecost had fully come. Hallelujah. This was the day, amen, the day of Pentecost. When it says it had fully come, amen, this was the day, brothers and sisters, when the church was born. This is the day when the Lord Jesus Christ makes himself known to those that will be used amongst the people. For the Bible says that they were all in one place, hallelujah, on one accord, hallelujah. And all of a sudden, the Bible says, there was a sound that came from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And they were all filled, amen, where they were sitting. Hallelujah. The power of God. Amen. The Holy Spirit filled ordinary people in order that he might use them to do extraordinary things. Hallelujah. It was on that day that God began, amen, to do supernatural things, amen, in the lives of his followers in order, brothers and sisters, that he may expand his church. Now listen to me, Pastor Rogers. Hallelujah. For the Bible says is, amen, that it was on this day, it was on the day, amen, of Pentecost, amen, that Peter, amen, preached his first sermon, hallelujah, and the number of the disciples, amen, increased as God added souls unto the church. Now, this is a beautiful picture of the exponential growth of the church. Hallelujah. It's a beautiful picture how God, brothers and sisters, can use one person to stand up to proclaim his word and see people make a conscious decision to give their lives amen to Christ as a consequence. For it's in the amen chapter 2. Amen. Hallelujah. That the Bible says that when they were all all filled with the Spirit, they began to speak in other tongues as the Lord gave them utterance. Hallelujah. But the Bible says, amen, there were some people, amen, on this day of Pentecost that was watching them and they began, hallelujah, they began to mock these people saying, hallelujah, these people, amen, they must be drunk, hallelujah, because it does not make sense, hallelujah, for people, amen, to be this happy this early in the morning. And hallelujah, and the Bible says, amen, that Peter, brothers and sisters, standing up with the 11 of the apostles, amen, he lifted up his voice and said, no, these men are not drunk as you suppose, hallelujah, but this is that, amen, that was spoken of by the prophet Joel, hallelujah, that in the last days the Lord would pour out, amen, his spirit upon all flesh in your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, oh, 
old men shall see dreams and young men, hallelujah, shall see visions. And they all continued, hallelujah, to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Then Peter, brothers and sisters, hallelujah, he preached a Christocentric sermon, hallelujah. He preached a man about Jesus Christ, letting people know if you just put your trust, amen, in the Lord Jesus Christ, he will do for you what you cannot do for yourself. And by the time Peter finished preaching, hallelujah, the Bible says that those men were pricked, amen, in their hearts. And they said unto Peter, hallelujah, and to the rest, amen, of the apostles, brethren, what must we do, amen, to be saved, hallelujah. Then Peter, amen, said, repent and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and ye shall receive the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. Then they that gladly, brothers and sisters, received the word, amen. The Bible says that they were baptized and on the same day there was added unto the church, amen, about 3,000, about 3,000 souls. I don't know about you, but my prayer, amen, to the Lord is fill me, O oh Lord, that I can help uh, somebody as I pass, amen, along. Now, brothers and sisters, this is a beautiful picture. This is a beautiful picture of the growth, amen, of the explosive growth, amen, of the church. It is a beautiful, amen, picture of people being saved. Hallelujah. And by the time, brothers and sisters, you and I make our way over unto chapter number three. There's a shift from the power of the message of God unto the power of the miracles of the Lord. Hallelujah. And as we examine our text, amen, on today. Hallelujah. The Bible says, now Peter and John, they went up, amen, together. Together, amen, unto the temple, amen, at the hour of prayer, being, amen, the ninth hour. Now in the Jewish culture, amen, it was their custom, brothers and sisters, to pray three times, amen, a day. Hallelujah. Prayer, brothers and sisters, was a significant part, amen, of Jewish, amen, culture. Hallelujah. Now I need to place a peg, amen. I need to place a peg right there. Hallelujah. Because, brothers and sisters, all through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, you find out that there is a consistent theme, amen, of this thing called prayer. Hallelujah. All over the Bible. In fact, it is Jeremiah, brothers and sisters, that says, hallelujah, the prophet Jeremiah says it like this, prayerlessness, amen, is wickedness. Hallelujah. Now hear me on today. Hallelujah. Prayer, brothers and sisters, hallelujah, should take, amen, first prayer precedent, amen, in the child of God. Prayer, brothers and sisters, is how you and I, amen, is how we talk, amen, to our Father. Hallelujah. Hear me on today. In fact, amen, we used to sing a song a long time ago that went like this. Jesus is on the main line, and you can tell him, amen, what you want. All you got to do is open your mouth and call him up and tell him, amen, what you, amen, what you want. In fact, brothers and sisters, Hear me on today. If you read your Bible, the Bible will let you know, amen, that God wants you to pray, amen, and God, amen, wants me to pray also. Hear me on today, brothers and sisters, but on the other hand, I, I want you to know, amen, although God wants us to pray, there is a devil, brothers and sisters. You got an adversary, amen, and he does not want to hear you. He does not want to see you. He does not want you, amen, to pray. Hear me today because the, uh, the devil, amen, hallelujah, does not care if we come to church as long as we sit in church, amen, and don't pray. Hallelujah. The devil, hallelujah, does not care if you fast every Wednesday as long as you don't couple fasting, amen, with prayer. Hallelujah. He does not care if you lift your hands and worship. He does not care, amen, if you close your eyes and praise. Hallelujah. Just as long, amen, if you can sit there, amen, and do not pray. Hear me on today, brothers and sisters, because if the truth be told, there can be no preaching from God's pulpit if there is no praying, amen, from the Lord's pews. Hallelujah. Even the devil, brothers and sisters, hear me on today. Even the devil knows, amen, that there's power, amen, in prayer. The devil knows, brothers and sisters, that if you act, 
ask, it shall be given. He know if you seek, you shall find. He know that if you knock, the door shall, amen. He knows that the door, amen, shall be open. I heard it said once before, amen, little prayer, amen, little power. No prayer, no power, but pretty prayer, amen, pretty, plenty power. Now you can remember, amen, yourself, those 12 boys that was handpicked, amen, by the Lord Jesus Christ. They walked with Jesus each and every day. They, those boys didn't ask Jesus, amen, how to preach, amen. They didn't ask Jesus, amen, hallelujah, how to sing. They didn't ask Jesus, amen, how to worship, amen. They asked Jesus, Lord, teach us, amen, teach us, amen, how to pray. The Bible says that Peter and John, listen at me, brothers and sisters, amen. This is the early church, and the Bible says that Peter, amen, went with John, hallelujah, up together, amen, to the temple at the hour, amen, of prayer. Do you see that, brothers and sisters? Hear me on today, hallelujah. That's in there for a reason, hallelujah. Peter didn't go alone. John didn't go alone. They went two by two. And the reason, brothers and sisters, they did, God is trying to, amen, paint a picture for you and a picture for me of the importance of a prayer partner, hallelujah. God, brothers and sisters, amen, he's in emphasizing, brothers and sisters, the power, amen, when two people, amen, hallelujah, on one accord can come together, lift up their voice, amen, and call on his name. In fact, brothers and sisters, one of the greatest blessings, amen, that God can give to you and one of the greatest blessings that God can give to me, amen, after the gift of salvation is to give his child, amen, someone who knows how to pray, amen, according, amen, to his will. Hear me today because you are blessed, brothers and sisters. You are blessed, brothers and sisters, above measures, above measures when God, amen, hallelujah, favors you to the point, amen, where he connects you with a bona fide prayer partner, hallelujah. For the Bible says it like this, two are better than one. Listen, 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 huh? hear me on today. Listen what Jesus says, amen, about having a prayer partner, hallelujah. Jesus says, and I tell you, amen, that if Two of you, hallelujah, shall agree on earth, hallelujah, touching anything, hallelujah, anything that they shall ask, amen, it shall be done for them, hallelujah, of my Father, amen, in heaven, Lord, amen, send me, hallelujah, somebody that I can connect with, amen, and pray, hallelujah, Peter went to church. He didn't go to church to sing. Hallelujah. Peter went to church. Amen. He went to church, brothers and sisters, to pray. Hallelujah. Because the church, brothers and sisters, is where prayers are heard. The church, brothers and sisters, is where mercy, amen, is found. Hallelujah. Even if there ain't no singing in the church, it ought to be praying. Hear me on today, brothers and sisters. Even, brothers and sisters, hallelujah. If it ain't no preaching, amen, in the church, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It ought to be a man. Hallelujah. It ought to be praying. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm the man that I am today because somebody, hear me, somebody prayed for me. Somebody took their time and prayed for me. And I'm so glad. I don't know about you. Hallelujah. I can only speak for myself. Hallelujah. I know where the Lord brought me from. I'm so glad that they prayed. Hallelujah. I'm so glad. Amen. That they prayed. Amen for me. Jesus says it like this. My house shall be called a, a house a man of prayer. Now the Bible says, hallelujah, in verse number two of chapter a man number three, hallelujah. The Bible says there was this certain man, elder, hallelujah. It was a certain, a man lame man, hallelujah. This man, brothers and sisters, was lame, a man from his mother's womb, hallelujah. And the Bible says that they carried this man, hallelujah, daily. They laid him, amen, at the gate of the temple, hallelujah. In the temple, amen, at this gate, amen, hallelujah. The name of it was called, amen, beautiful, hallelujah. And they set this man at this gate, amen, that he can ask, amen, for alms. Because if it's any place, amen, hallelujah. Hallelujah. On the face of the earth that people ought to be charitable. Hallelujah. It ought to be. Amen. In the church. Hallelujah. Now this man. Hallelujah. Hear me on today for the Bible lets us know. Amen. That this man was born that 
way. He was born lame, brothers and sisters. Hear me on today. Amen. He, that means he did not have the strength in his legs, amen, to stand up on his own. Hallelujah. He could not make it, brothers and sisters, by himself. Hallelujah. So he sat at, hear me, elders, he sat, amen, at the gate. Hallelujah. And all those he's at the gate, amen, he cannot, amen, stand up. Hear me today because here is a picture, brothers and sisters, amen, hallelujah, of a person, amen, who comes to church, amen, on the regular, but leaves and goes back home the same way that they came. Hallelujah. Lame. Hallelujah. Hear me. This man comes, the Bible says, daily. Amen. He's a regular, amen, attendant. Uh, you cannot go into the church, amen, without seeing this man. Hallelujah. At the gate. Hallelujah. And according to chapter number four, if you just keep on reading, amen, hallelujah, chapter number four, verse number two, lets us know that this man is upwards, amen, of 40 years old. You know what that means, brothers and sisters? Amen. This man has been laying, hallelujah, for half of a lifetime. Hallelujah. He's been in that same condition. Hear me on today. Not able, amen, hallelujah, not able to move on his own. Hallelujah. If the man was to get from point A to point B, hallelujah, this man needed help. Amen. To get there daily. Hallelujah. Here's a man, brothers and sisters. The Bible is letting us know that here's a man that's stuck. And he's stuck, brothers and sisters, in a bad, amen. He's stuck in a bad situation. Hallelujah. That man, brothers and sisters, was dependent, amen, on other people. Amen. Dependent on other people, amen, to give him a hand out. Hallelujah. But a According to the text, amen, scriptures wants us to know that this man didn't need a hand out. This man, brothers and sisters, he needed, amen, a hand up. Hallelujah. This man needed someone, amen, to help him change his situation. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, hallelujah, that when he saw, amen, Peter and John about to go into the temple, hallelujah, the Bible says, amen, that he asked of them. Amen. Hallelujah. And armed. Hallelujah. And hear me brothers and sisters because the text is crystal clear. Hallelujah. Although Peter and John were broke. Hallelujah. Although Peter and John, amen, was not carrying amen, no money. They was carrying something more valuable amen than money. Hallelujah. Because these boys, hallelujah, had just been amen, hallelujah. They had just been uh, anointed. Let the church say anointed. Hallelujah. And when you are anointed, hear me, brothers and sisters, when you've been smeared with the presence, when you've been smeared with the power of God, hallelujah, God will use you, amen, to do what other people can't not do. Hear me on today, brothers and sisters, hallelujah, because when you are anointed, you can walk through hell with a water pistol, hallelujah, and you will not get born. When you are anointed, you can see the trap, walk into the trap, and tell the devil you can't get me because I've been anointed hallelujah and the victory is already the victory is already mine just listen listen and listen, hallelujah, because when you anointed, the devil might can hit you, hear me, but he cannot hold you. When you are anointed, the devil may knock you down, but he don't have the power, amen, to knock you out, hallelujah. Hear me on today, when you get anointed, hallelujah, God can use you, amen, to do some incredible, unthinkable things when God has anointed you. Hear me, the Bible says, amen, hallelujah. Hallelujah, that Peter and John, they fastened, they fastened their eyes, amen, on this man. Hallelujah. And Peter, amen, said to the man, look on us. Hallelujah. In other words, amen, make eye contact. Let me look into your eyes. Stop looking down, amen, into that cup. Look up. Hallelujah. Give us your full, amen, attention. Hallelujah. Because you're about to see something that you ain't never seen. Hallelujah. Get ready, amen, for the over. Amen. Get ready for the overflow. And the Bible says, amen, that that man, brothers and sisters, don't miss this. The Bible says that that man, he gave 
heed unto them with expectation. He was expecting to receive something of them. Holly, I want you to know parenthetically, amen, that things happen, hallelujah, when you listen and obey people, amen, that are anointed. Hallelujah. There's always a blessing attached, amen, to obedience. Hear me on today, amen. I did not say, amen, things happen when you listen to people that are appointed. I said things happen when you listen to people that are anointed. It's a difference from being appointed to a place and anointed a man to a place. Amen. You might can function in a place, brothers and sisters, that you are appointed to, a, but it won't be no power in that place if you have not, amen, been appointed anointed, amen, from that place. Now, you might say, well, I just get that from. Hallelujah. I want you to know on today, the Bible is filled with examples, amen, of people that were anointed by God, that gave other people instructions. Hallelujah. And God had his way. Hallelujah. Moses. You don't believe me. Moses was anointed. Hallelujah. Back in the book, amen, of Exodus. Just listen at me. Hallelujah. Moses, amen, he told them people. He says, now, God's about to bust a move, hallelujah, in Egypt. He says, so what I want you to do, amen, is go take a lamb, hallelujah, without blemish, a male of the first year. I want you to kill that lamb, and then I want you to take a man of the blood of that lamb, and I want you to strike it, amen, on the doorpost. And when God busts a move, when the death angel, amen, passes this way, and when God sees, amen, the blood, let somebody holler the blood, when God sees, Amen. The blood. He's going to pass over. Amen. In your house. I, I don't know about you. But I'm just talking about if I can help somebody as I pass along my living shall not be. Yahshua was anointed. Hallelujah. Moses led the people out of Egypt through the Red Sea. Hallelujah. But Joshua, he led the people out of the wilderness into a man of the promised land. Hallelujah. And when they came up against their first battle, the Bible Bible says it like this. Now Jericho was straightly a man shut up. Hallelujah. But Joshua bumped into a man with a sword that was drawn. Hallelujah. Joshua asked that man, did you come? Amen. Are you for us or for them? He says, neither. Hallelujah. I came as the captain of the Lord's host. Hallelujah. He gave Joshua a man a plan. Joshua took that plan, brothers and sisters, and gave it to the people. Joshua told them, amen. Hallelujah. Don't worry about what you see. Let's listen at what God said. Hallelujah. He said, now for six days, I want you to just walk around this I want you to walk around this city for six days. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to keep it moving. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to keep your feet moving and I want you to keep your mouth closed. Don't you talk yourself out of this victory. Just walk around. Hallelujah. Just obey God. Just walk around these walls. Amen. One time for six days. Hallelujah. He says, but now on the seventh day. Somebody shout seven. On the seventh day. Amen. Hallelujah. God's going to do something different on day number seven. He says, now what I want you to do on day number seven, he says, I want you to walk around this city seven times. Hallelujah. Then the priests of the Lord going to take a ram's horn. And when you hear a loud blast, I want you to shout with a shout of glory. I want you to shout with a voice of triumph. And those people obeyed Joshua and the walls came tumbling. Oh, I'm getting excited up here, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. I'm getting excited because the walls, those walls came tumbling Amen. Tumbling down. Now over in 2 Kings. Hallelujah. There was a man by the name of Naaman. Hallelujah. Bible says that Naaman was the captain of the host of the king of Syria. He was a great man, the Bible says, with his master. And honorable because, hallelujah, the Lord had given him, amen, through him, amen, deliverance unto Syria. Hallelujah. He was also a mighty man. Hear me. He was also a mighty man in valor. But the Bible says 
He was a leper. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, amen, one day he went down to see the prophet. Amen. The man of God. The man that was anointed. Amen. Hallelujah. In Israel. He went down. Amen. Hallelujah. To see the prophet. And the prophet told him, he says, all right, <laughs> I got a word for you from the Lord. He says, I want you to go down to the muddy Jordan and I want you to dip in that water. Amen. Seven times. Hallelujah. So Nate Naaman, he listened uh, to the prophet. Hallelujah. And the Bible says he dipped one time. Nothing happened. Dipped two, three times. Nothing happened. Dipped four, five, six times. Nothing happened. But on the seventh time, the Bible says he came back up. Hallelujah. And his flesh became as the flesh of a little child. I don't know about you, but my prayer, Lord, anoint me so I can help somebody as I pass along. Oh, did I tell you about the woman, amen, over in 2 Kings, amen, chapter number 4? Amen. Hear me now. This woman, Bible says she was a widow. Her husband had then died. And she cried, amen, unto a man, Elisha, saying, my husband, hallelujah, is dead. Hallelujah. And his creditors has come, amen, to take my two boys and make them, amen, their slave. Hallelujah. And Elisha said to her, well, tell me what you want me, amen, to do for you. What is in the thy house. Hallelujah. The Bible says, she said unto the man of God, hallelujah, thou servant, a man has nothing in the heart save a pot of earl. Hallelujah. And the man of God said, hallelujah, you got enough for me to work with. Hallelujah. The man of God said unto her, Go out and borrow vessels, hallelujah, abroad. Go get a pot, go get a jar, go get a pan, go get anything, go get a cup. Just go borrow vessels, amen, abroad, hallelujah. Go to all your neighbors, hallelujah, and bring back empty vessels, hallelujah. And when you get home, this is what I want you to do, amen. I want you to shut the door on you and your sons, hallelujah, and just start pouring, amen, the oil, hallelujah. Pour that Earl, amen, into empty vessels, hallelujah, and she set aside, amen, each vessel, amen, that was full, hallelujah, and it came to pass when all the vessels that this woman had went out and borrowed from her neighbor, when all those vessels, amen, were full, hallelujah, she said to her sons, amen, bring another vessel, hallelujah, and her son said, amen, mama, we have no more, they're all full, and it was at that point, hallelujah, that the oil, amen, stopped. All I'm trying to say to you today, hallelujah, is that when you are anointed, hear me on today, amen, hallelujah, when you are anointed, you cannot keep the power, you cannot keep it, amen, to yourself. Hear me, God did not anoint you for you, amen, hallelujah, God anointed you to use you, amen, to bless, amen, other people, hallelujah. When you are anointed, amen, you look for opportunities, amen, to help to be a blessing, amen, to somebody to be a blessing, amen, to somebody, amen. Uh, Jesus said it like this. You do know Jesus was anointed, right? The Bible says, amen, when Jesus, amen, stood up in the temple, he said it like this as it relates to the anointed. The Spirit of the Lord, amen, has anointed me. Hallelujah. How he has anointed me to preach, amen, the gospel, amen, to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Hallelujah. To preach deliverance, amen, to the captive and the recovering of sight amen to the blind to set at liberty amen those that are bruised hear me on today listen 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 hallelujah we used to sing a song amen in the church that I grew up in <laughs> glory land Mount Gilead 1515 drive street where my pastor was the Reverend John amen Burkett the song went like this hallelujah if I can help somebody as I pass amen alone if I can just cheer somebody with a word or song. If I can show somebody that there's traveling wrong, then my living, then my living shall not, it shall not be in vain. Hallelujah. And when the lame man, hallelujah, looked up, hallelujah, expecting to receive something from them two anointed men of God. Hallelujah. Peter says, now silver and gold have we none, but such as we have, we give it a man unto 
to do. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And the Bible says that Peter being filled with the Holy Ghost, amen, he took that man by the hand. He put his hands on him. Hallelujah. The Bible says he grabbed him, amen, by the right hand and he lifted that man up and immediately, not tomorrow, not next week, amen, not next month. The Bible says, amen, Peter was so anointed that when he put that man, when he put his hands on that man, grabbed him and lifted up immediately, amen, the man's ankles received strength. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, amen, he stood up, amen, leaping and walking, amen, and he entered into, amen, the temple, hallelujah, amen, don't miss it, <laughs> when he got his blessing, when he received his strength, the Bible says that the man leaped up, walking, amen, and he, watch this now, he didn't go home, <laughs> he didn't thank the people, amen, hallelujah, that had brought him to the gate daily, the Bible says, amen, that this man had been there 40 years waiting for an opportunity to move from under that gate and make it into the temple where he could pray. And the Bible says, amen, that he walked into the temple, amen, hallelujah, and he didn't walk in there cute, amen, he didn't walk in there with a tie on, amen, he didn't walk in there with a three-piece suit, amen, the Bible says he walked in that place leaping and praising, and you act like God ain't did nothing for you this week, you act like God ain't brought you through Katrina, I'm talking to somebody, you act like God ain't brought you through Ida, you act like you ain't got no food on your table, you act like you ain't got no clothes on your back, you act like you ain't 50 something plus. Uh, you act like you don't know people dropping dead around us every day. The Bible says when that man walked into that church, hallelujah, he wasn't stuck up. Hallelujah. The Bible says he walked in to show all the dead folk how a live person, amen, ought to praise the Lord. He walked in there, the Bible says, leaping and praising God. The song says it like this. If you happy and you know it, say amen. If you happy and you know it, say the man do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around that's what church brothers and sisters that's what church is all hallelujah that's what church is all about hallelujah each and every one of us I don't want you to miss this text because each and every one of us was like this lame man hallelujah hear me on today there was a time brothers and sisters when we did not have the strength we did not have the strength to stand against the wiles against the trickery hallelujah against the isms and schisms, amen, of the devil. But Jesus was on your side, and Jesus, amen, was on my side, and God, amen, made things work out for our good. Hallelujah. Now, as I prepare, whoo, as I prepare, brothers and sisters, at least I keep you too long, as I prepare, amen, because I'm not out of message, I'm out of minutes, hallelujah, hear me on today, at least I keep you, amen, too long, hallelujah, here I go again, Dry Street 15, 15 Dry, Glory Land, Mount Gilead, John Burkett, we used to sing, amen, hallelujah, every third Sunday, because that was communion, hallelujah, we used to sing, amen, we used to sing a, the radio choir. It wasn't the sunshine band. It was the radio choir. Hallelujah. We used to sing, amen, a song that went like this. I'm standing on the promises, amen, of Christ my King. Through eternal ages, let his praises reign. Glory in the highest. I'm going to shout and sing because I'm standing on the promises of God. My mama was in that choir and I can see my mama not getting happy. She couldn't sing but she sure thought she could. Amen. Hallelujah. She'd open her mouth and cry standing. <laughs> standing. <laughs> standing on the promises of Christ my Savior. Standing. Standing. You might not stand with me, but that's okay. Hallelujah. I'm going to stand on his promises. You might look at me crazy, but that's okay. I'm going to stand on his promises. Hallelujah. I might not live in a gated community, but that's all right. One day I'm going to a gated city. I'm going to stand on the promises of God. And you know why I'm going to stand on God's promises? Because he's not a man. Amen. That he should lie.
guy hear me, Pastor? He's not a man that he should lie, nor is he the son of man, a man that he should repent. If nobody else stand, I'm going to stand. If my children don't stand, I'm going to stand. If my wife don't stand, I'm going to stand. Hear me? If the mayor don't stand, I'm standing. If the president, the governor don't stand, I'm going to stand. Amen. On the promises. Amen. Of God. You don't know like I know what the Lord done done for me. You wasn't there when I was on the street. Amen. Dealing cocaine. You don't know. You don't know what the Lord done done for me. You don't know it was 1965. My mama was trapped in the lower night ward. Hurricane Betsy. You don't know. Amen. Hallelujah. Like I know God sent the boat to get us out of that place. You don't know. Amen. It was December the 9th, 1999. I went home, found my wife, hallelujah, laying on the floor with a bullet straight through her heart. She looked at me and died. You don't know what God, you don't know like I know. Amen. What the Lord, amen, done done. Amen. What the Lord done done for me. You don't know. Amen. Hallelujah. 9205. Hallelujah. Katrina. I know you all got a story. Hear me. Katrina. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord blew us. He didn't fly us. He blew us. The airplane didn't flew us. Amen. We didn't flew. We was blown. Amen. To Connecticut. I had three children and one on the way. I had a pregnant wife due to deliver. Amen. And any day I was suffering with a condition called placenta plibria. I never heard of this in my life. I was too busy. Amen. To make doctor's appointments. When I landed in Connecticut. Hallelujah. I went to the doctor for the very first time. Got to the doctor, amen, and the doctor looked at me. He said, man, do you know what's going on? I said, yeah, we're about to have a baby. He said, pray. He says, because, listen, placenta privia is threatening the life of the unborn and the life of your wife. Hear me on today. That boy is sitting here today. Amen. But now listen at me. Hallelujah. Because after the baby was born, hallelujah, amen, I had one son, amen, a first week. Why am I doing this? I'm going to testify. I had one son, hallelujah, in his first amen semester at Delgado and we were struggling to send him there. Hallelujah. Not only did I need a doctor, amen, to deliver the baby. Not only did I need a college for my son to go to school, I needed a house, amen, for us to live in too. Found the doctor, amen, hallelujah. One week later, got a phone call, hallelujah, from the University of Yukon University, amen, went up there and on the initial interview, gave that boy a full scholarship, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The week after, I go home. Hallelujah. My wife is surfing the internet. Hallelujah. Listen at me. Listen at me. I, I got a doctor. Got a doctor to deliver the baby. Got a school. Amen. For the boy to go to. Amen. Now I needed a house. Amen. To live in. Sean's on the internet. She's, amen, searching the web. Hallelujah. As she's searching, she run across, amen, an email that says, looking for people from Louisiana. Hallelujah. Sean answered that call. We, in three days, we went down to meet the people. Amen. One of the most sweetest people on the face of this earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Come back. Hallelujah. They've gotten to be, amen, some of our best friends, if not our best friends in the whole wide world. Caucasian people. Did I mention that? Amen. Hallelujah. We go down to meet these people. Hallelujah. And you won't believe what happened. Connecticut is the richest state in the, in the United States. Y'all know that? Amen. Hallelujah. We get down to this house. Hallelujah. It's seated on the, on the Connecticut Sound. In other words, it's lakefront property. It's four bedrooms. Hear me. Fully furnished with a grand piano. Hallelujah. Watch this now. And two libraries. Hallelujah. A library upstairs and a library downstairs. What does a preacher that's been displaced need other than his own private library? Hear me. Hallelujah. We took the interview. Hallelujah. The people called us back. He says, listen, we don't know why. Hallelujah. But the Lord is telling us to give you this property. Hear me now. Hallelujah. He says, listen, give us about three weeks. Hallelujah. To put it in shape for you and come back. In three weeks, we came back. 
hear me. Little did we know these people were going to get their whole church involved. We were there, brothers and sisters, 14 months. In a whole 14 months, hear me. This boy was a baby. We never bought diapers in 14 months. And they didn't have to go buy no more. It was all stacked in the house. We never bought toilet paper. We never bought a man soap. We never bought toothpaste. We never bought deodorant. The whole 14 months, brothers and sisters, we were in that house. Amen. After about three months, I couldn't take it no more. I called, amen, Uncle Bill. Hallelujah. And I called, amen, hallelujah, his wife. Hallelujah. And I told him, amen, I got to talk to y'all. Come over right away. So they get to, amen. Now, boy, I can't even think of A.T. name. What's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Auntie Katie, thank you, son. I said, call Katie. Amen. Katie, I apologize. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said, call Katie to the house. Amen. Come on over. And when they came over, I said, listen, we appreciate everything y'all done done. Hear me. Did I tell y'all we did not even pay a bill? They wouldn't let us pay the light bill, the water bill. Amen. Nothing. Amen. They didn't let us pay the cable bill. Nothing. After three months, I couldn't take it no more. I called them to the house. I said, listen, I appreciate your generosity. I said, but if you don't let me at least pay the utilities, amen, in this house, we going to pack up and leave. Oh, are you with me? Hear me. Because I understand God it blesses us to be a blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. We were displaced. But in our displacement, God was still blessing us. Amen. Hallelujah. We had eight houses at the time. All of them was fully insured. All, all of them paid off. Are you with me? Hallelujah. So although, amen, hallelujah, I wasn't in New Orleans. Amen. I was in Connecticut, but I wasn't broke. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm just talking about, brothers and sisters hear me on today and I'm finished if I can just help somebody as I pass along hear me because we just passing through here hear me some of us gonna pass through for 30 years some gonna pass through for 10 years some gonna pass through for 60 doesn't matter how long your journey is God put us on this earth yes, to help people that's not as fortunate as you are. Are you hearing me? Hear me. Somebody, hear me. God done bless you with the ability to connect with children. That's your purpose. Your purpose is to hook up with some children. Hallelujah. That needs what God has given you. Are you with me? Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. Somebody else, God didn't bless you with finances. You might not know it, but they, it's not all for you. Hear me. Hear me. God bless you to pay your bills. Hear me. And to help somebody else who can't pay theirs. Hear me. All of us. Can I see the hands of the saved people? You saved. God ain't saved you. To come in here on Sunday. Hit me. God ain't saved you. Just to get on Facebook Live on Thursday. Or Zoom on Saturday. If God saved you. Hear me today. Hear me. If God saved you. He didn't sign a certain amount of people. He has assigned them to your life for you to take your testimony, hear me, and testify, and get them into the kingdom of God. And now hear me. The Bible did not say, hear me, if you saved, amen, you might have didn't know it until today. But hear me, you're going to have to answer for this word. If you saved, God saved you. To use you to save other people. And let me tell you where it starts. In your own family. That's where it starts. Talk to Poonie. Talk to Peanut. Talk to Bobo. Talk to Uncle Bozo. That's who God has. And then it's in the block that you live on. Jerusalem. All right, uh, Judea, Jerusalem. Then it's on your job. Are you with me? Somebody say, I ain't called to do that. If he called you out of darkness in the light, 
He called you to do that. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, guys, I close with this. We're in a serious season. I honestly believe this, and I know I'm on the web. I honestly believe this. Once my generation die off, that's it. It's over. Hear me. Because we're dealing with a godless generation. We're dealing with a generation of people who ain't got God nowhere on their mind. Hallelujah. Check the record. The Bible says, amen, in the book of Genesis, that evil just increased continually. And the Bible says it repented God that he had made man. Hear me today all over the building. Why don't you just stand, amen, as we get our benediction and get out of here. Amen. I'm sorry. I'm 11 minutes over, but I couldn't let this go today. Hear me on today. Hallelujah. I thank God, amen, on this morning. Hallelujah. God, I bless you for your presence. I bless you for your spirit, God. And I thank you, God, now for your anointing. Thank you, God, in Jesus' name for these, your people. People who God got up this morning out of the comforts of their beds. God, they could have stayed at home and watched this on the internet. But I thank you, God, that you stirred their spirits to come into the house of the Lord, oh God, now where the presence and the power of God it's being manifested. God, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, now that you stir up the gift that's on the inside of each and every one of us. God, help us, Lord, in the name of Jesus to fulfill the purpose that you've attached to our lives. Help us, God, to reach our destiny, O oh Lord. Help us to put a smile on your face and to glorify your name. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for this wonderful day, God. We thank you, God, now for the opportunity to assemble ourselves and worship you. We thank you, oh God, now for blessing us, God, with your word. We love you today, God. We honor you and we praise you. And as we depart from this place, it's never from your presence, oh Lord. Use us to help somebody as we pass along. We give your name praise. We give your name honor. We give your name glory. God, we pray all of these blessings in the name of our life changing king. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said amen, amen, and amen. God bless you on today, beloved. Hallelujah.